baking crimes come out, he also it also um, came to light that he molested over 30 students when he was um, a uh, wrestling coach in Illinois yeah. uh, before his political career. They had the victims come in and testify, saying, um, you know, like what you did affects me every day. Mm -hmm. I have to live with that. Like take responsibility for it. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. he could not be charged with um, any sort of sex crimes against children because the statute of limitation has expired. Mm -hmm. But the judge did say that um, he's required to register as a sex offender now. Okay. Once he's out, and he has a uh, supervised probation for two years. Oh, yeah. He's also about seventy years old in a wheelchair, so I'm not sure how he's going to survive that mm -hmm. fifteen month prison sentence. It's just, it's crazy that the words like child molester and speaker in the house are like the same. Sentence. That's disgusting. Yeah. But I'm glad they're, that they're taking action because I feel like those type of accounts need, those people need to be held responsible. Okay. Regardless, people say, oh, time passed. No, he needs to know what he did wrong and, and have that time to actually think about that, Absolutely. you know? Well, I think his, his uh, legacy is ruined. Yeah. Reputation's ruined. Really? Life is ruined. I mean, but it was proven, you know? Yeah. Yeah. That's the least that could happen. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's that's a pretty big L. That that's is the big. I think it's the biggest L we've given that's yeah. ever been taken that's on this a, show. That's a heavy L today. So congratulations! I think you've taken the L of the century. Yeah. Uh, going on to um, less severe L's. Uh, this week was the NFL draft, and Laramie Tunsil, who was supposed to be the number one draft pick, ten minutes before it started, his Twitter was hacked, and there was a video posted of him smoking. They say unidentified substance from a, a gas mask, but we all know that he's smoking weed. I mean, hmm. why do we have to beat around the bush? Mm -hmm. No pun intended. <laughs> um, inst and uh, right afterwards, he um, his Instagram was hacked, and there are texts posted of him texting um, his uh, coach at Mississippi where he played um, college football, asking for money to pay his rent and his mom's electrical bill. So the immediately the Ravens, the Baltimore Ravens, cut him from their roster. He ended up being chosen 13th overall for the Miami Dolphins. And, I mean, it's sad. He lost millions of dollars. He compared to what? Compared to what he could have made. Yeah. But don't feel too bad for him because he's still making a lot of money. He's also playing for an NFL team. So I think he'll be all right. True. <laughs> yeah. I just, I, I really want to know, like, if anybody's really given the L, it's the person who leaked this information yeah. before he was drafted. Before he got that money. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, if you were smart, you would have held out and just been like, yo, like, let me get a piece of that 20 mil. Like, Not easy. even, I mean, that, you mean bribery? Yeah. That's yeah. a little freaky, but I just feel like that person is a hater. Yeah. That's, yeah. Like, they that's the reason why they get the hell, that. yeah. First of all, I don't understand why deal that this guy had a video of him smoking a bong. I'm sorry, did nobody go to college? Did right. none of these people? He looked like he was having a good time. He did. Did our president like not smoke weed that. before? That's true, but he doesn't have photographic evidence of that. I guess yeah, the money he, thing is a yeah, little different. I mean, I mean it's, a, it's a gray area, but I don't think there's anything wrong with this guy just smoking a bong. I yeah. mean, you know, I it looks gets, inappropriate, and so mm -hmm. it's an inflection on it. Come on, look at all the other NFL players and all the inappropriate behavior that they I mean, and they, they are now that they have the platform that comes with it, their inflection on the children come up and that look that's up what, to them. Yeah. So that's the thing that people um, really are worried about, you know, that are going to be hiring him. The only problem is, like, yes, like, NFL stars are like very like important to children, I guess, but like also like raise your own children. You know, yeah, what I mean? oh, a lot definitely of raise, raise their kids. own children. Number so one, please. That's like a lot of people get problem. with it. And I mean, I think that the NFL like understands that and reflects that. So they're just like, yo, like I'm sorry, we got to do this. Like, it, no. no hard feelings. Sorry about that. <laughs> but um, also in news, we wanted to talk about Trump. He recently was talking about Hillary, saying. Frankly, if Hillary Clinton was a man, I don't think she'd get 5% of the votes. The only thing she's got going for her is the woman's card. And the beautiful thing about that is women don't like her. I don't think I've ever agreed with something that Trump has said up until this point. Like, that kind of scares me that you said that. To yeah. Honest. It's, no, because I, it's, listen, I don't agree with any of his policies, you know, I'm, I also don't agree with anything that Hillary Clinton has to say, and I think there's some truth to that. Mm -hmm. I think Hillary Clinton is somebody who is an opportunist. Mm -hmm. I think she sees where she can fit in mm -hmm. and where she can get votes, and she does. She does play the women card a lot, and to be fair, a lot of women don't like, I don't like her. Yeah. I, I don't I like don't her, know. not because she's a woman, but because she's just like, she's just like, shisey like she's, she's shifty yeah like and she just changes her opinion and everything and it's like it's not to say that like we're not allowed to change and grow and develop but it's like 
do your just just do your research. Like don't don't come on the podium and be like, I don't know where Bernie Sanders was when I was trying to fight for this and that because he was, he was right behind you. Exactly. Like don't you make yourself look stupid because you have like photographic evidence, you have video of Bernie Sanders being behind you. So why like I just don't understand. Like she just so needs to her team not, needs to get fired for that. Yeah, yeah, she needs to she needs to figure that out. But I mean Like Prince said, my dog isn't in that race. I mean that's why exactly does not make sense. You see Bill Clinton and Hillary Clinton um with with Trump and his wife, right. you know. Pictures of them smiling and laughing. So Well that's fine. So, I mean there's nothing wrong with them being friends in real life. I think that's that's cool, you know, but um Wait, wait, you have to, you have to read, I'm reading between the lines when mm -hmm. I say that, you know, what, what, what really matters, there's supposed to be components and they're sitting here debating mm -hmm. each other's policies. If you're friends, usually your friends are the people who you agree somewhat with, you know, their ideals and everything. But True. at the same time, like, they are still in politics and also, like, they're also incredibly wealthy. Yeah, they're, they're incredibly stick wealthy. Together. Stick together. And also, <laughs> yeah. they're, like, D Donald Trump is, like, notably radical you know what i mean like not to say that hillary clinton doesn't have the capabilities of being radical but like of course like they're gonna leave that out of it when they have a photo op mm. you know what i mean they're not gonna constantly be fighting with each other because that's a lot of energy and it's like first of all like if you're at a gala and you're like trying to have a good time you're, it was not, gonna at a gala. Like, you're not gonna be like yo like your stuff is yeah. messed I up. Heard, I heard what you said time the other day. And yeah, you know, exactly. Time and place. And I also feel like before, Donald Trump didn't even have a political career until a few months ago, yeah. which is incredibly shocking. Skyrocketed. Yeah. Um, he was a reality uh, TV host. I mean, did you see his house? His apartment. He has the whole fl first floor and one of the t Trump towers. Gold doors that look like freaking um, vaults. It's yeah. ridiculous. Yeah. He, they're all rich. But... Um, he's act he actually did fund the early Clinton campaign. Really? So, I mean, like, it's it it, another opportunity. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like he they're called kind of a lot of people. all in it together. And he calls them all out on it, though, you know? Yeah. It's almost like they plan it. I'm going to call you out, make you look bad, but, mm. you know, you're still going to get funded. Donald Don't worry. Trump is someone who gets in where he can fit in. Yeah, you know what I mean? that's true. Uh, I mean, <laughs> other... Imagine, people. imagine his wife um, as first lady. She's just squinting all the time. She is maybe <gasps> Honestly, she's glasses. maybe she's like me and doesn't just wear her, her glasses. Face. No, I really think that's her face. Like, I don't think her eyes like open very. I would look for, forward to the fashion, but no one will ever be. I don't think anyone <laughs> no ever one. be. Michelle, oh my God. Michelle no, never, never actually. Oh my On gosh. to more political news. Ted Cruz in a last ditch effort to remain relevant, <laughs> as he's been struggling to do this entire few weeks, um, has chosen Carly Fiorina as his running mate. I have a couple of things to say about this. First of all, I didn't even know that people could do that before being nominated. That's what I was thinking, Because that's too. weird. Yeah. I didn't hear Bernie say anything. I didn't hear Hillary Clinton say anything. I didn't hear because Trump. Because you, you have to define who is going to be the primary candidate before yeah. you Yeah, don't you have to get the nomination? You're jumping the gun, Chad, yeah. and you're... I don't know. Not a fan. Not a fan. I mean, that was, like, on Wednesday, and really the only thing that people are still talking about with Ted Cruz is the fact that he's a Zodiac killer. <laughs> Yes. Oh. Ted Cruz has become an internet sensation. I want to know if he knows that. Though. I feel like he's with, trying to ignore it, but right. with his impersonator. Oh my gosh! And his his impersonator in in the upcoming adult film that she will be starring in with yes, her boyfriend. Yes, we spoke about this a little yes. bit last week, right? I just good I'm, for her. I'm excited for the all the money that this woman is going to make by looking similar to Ted Cruz. Good, right? good for her. Good, good on her. But. I mean, I don't know. Ted Cruz. Ted Cruz has kind of always been irrelevant to me. So I mean, like, he just looks very uncomfortable. Yeah, very that's a dishonest. that's a great photo. Of that is a great. Photo. That's a money shot. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to pop culture. Oh my gosh, we're talking about Lemonade today. Yes. Oh Beyonce's 12 track visual album was amazing and I, so inspiring. I laughed, I cried. I like I, I went through a series of emotions mm. similar to the the 12 steps that she went through during this video. Mm -hmm. I was I was floored with the cinematography. Like literally yeah. like it opened at first I was just like, "Where am I? What are we doing? What's going on?" <laughs> and she just like is in this like black hoodie like shifting through bamboo and you're just like oh my god so mysterious Beyonce mm -hmm. where are we gonna go so many today? messages being sent I mean you see a lot of artists now today um, doing the same thing duplicating how she presents her albums mm -hmm. where they have visual albums or they drop them at a dime at 12 a.m. and mm -hmm. I didn't even know she hasn't come out with music you saw people protesting her fans protesting Beyonce drop your album because you know she's supposed to be going on tour right 
So I thought this was just maybe a project. Didn't come to me that this is her album. Yeah. If then all of a sudden we hear, oh, it's available on Tidal. Oh, now it's number one on iTunes. Yeah. Amazing. She, I mean, she has that pull though. You know what I mean? Like she does. She has a star power about yeah. her. She does. Yeah. She's there. Now. I think it's interesting about the album is that you know basically it's it's very it centers a lot around her whole like marriage with Jay Z and all the the struggle with it. Allegedly. A alleged. But yeah, allegedly. But it's released on title. I think that somewhere in in the mix of that is a that's we've always talked about this. I feel like they're very You're smart. This plan. Yeah, it's very You're smart. loyal. <laughs> I appreciate. Obviously, that. Yeah. I appreciate that. I mean, people yeah. are going crazy, but I mean, that's what the blogs and love. They uh, they love this. Like yeah. I was looking up a lot of stuff about it, and I mean, like everybody was like saying the memes and stuff like that about how like Jay was like blindsided by this. But when I watched it, I was like, Jay was in it. So why is everybody saying that he's I mean, blindsided? That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that like it's one of those situations. Not I'm not in the same situation. I think it was genuine. Uh -huh. I think it came from a place of like real emotion. Mm -hmm. so oh, definitely that, for sure. Can't lie. But that I much. also think there's a little bit of business and strategy Absolutely. that was put into that. I mean, Jay Z. Yeah. I feel like he did let her be an artist that she is, but he has to prove prove the music. If he mm -hmm. was against this, it wouldn't have went out. Maybe yeah. this was his you know? way of like being like, okay, I. On you, I cheat on you. Express yourself. Artists express themselves yeah, through their music. Yourself. But um, if you guys didn't know this, when I first watched it, I was like, this is amazing. So much detail. And it went besides, be past my head that she didn't do all this by herself. No, of course, she had, I'm pretty sure, the imagery and the, um, the idea what she wanted team. to do. Yeah. But it was a quite large team, especially between interludes. The interludes between the songs were written by a poet, um, a Warson. Somali poet, Warson Shire. Mm -hmm. Amazing 27 year old poet. She um, gained so many awards, and you see Beyonce using a lot of artists in her music, you know, whether they're writing like Kendrick Lamar or other poets, mm -hmm. you know, being part of, or people that's part of the um, um, Black Lives Matter, right. and you know, using that in her music. And I love how she uses that to send messages, even if she gets backlash from other people. I mean, I just enjoyed it because it was a collaborative effort. Like, that's mainly what I mm -hmm. took away from it because I mean, like, you like cannot like build the ark alone you know what i mean like i thought that it was such a beautiful expression of something that was so like not transcendental because i feel like not everybody is cheated on of course but i feel like throughout her like career like that's a lot of like the messages that her her music has been sending like mm -hmm. think about like to like uh, what was it everything you own in the box to the left like boy bye you mm -hmm. know what i mean like is iconic exactly you know what i mean and like it transcended into this like beautiful artistic like feel good like i'm actually awesome so I like kick butt type of like thing where she really went through all these stages of like I just got I'm I'm part of an infidelity now you know what I mean like how do I transition how do I change how do I like manage this you know what I mean and it, yeah. I feel like that's universal and then to have all these artists to collaborate on it with her it's just like wow like she's reaching so many mediums and so many masses yeah, I mean, and you saw the different steps. She had, like, denial, then she had anger. Mm -hmm. Not anger, but um, denial, anger. All right, there's a whole bunch of different steps. Yeah. But it's funny. It's like, okay, what do I do now? It's almost like the beehive would be like, okay, my boyfriend's cheating on me. Let me go follow Beyonce's steps, how she got through this. Because you saw <laughs> that the cars. lyrics that she used were so feisty, how yeah. she said she was like, me and my baby will be all right. Damn, yeah. Wow. It was and crazy. then you go to the Becky, how she said, you know, he only loves me when I'm not there. You know, go find Becky with the good hair. It's just crazy, the lyrics that she implies. And you see how now um, Karen um, Superhead, oh. uh, old video, video vixen, came about saying that I was a Becky for like two seconds. Why are you even coming out here? But it's good for two minutes of fame, yeah. you mentioned. I mean, I think it's, first of all, like, I mean... Real side chicks, no, you don't want the pub publicity. Exactly. I mean, Rachel Roy now posted something because she was a, an alleged Becky, and people she were coming that, after that, Rachel Ray. That was, yeah. That was hilarious. That was hilariously like, hilarious. hilarious. <laughs> they were, and then right. she posted she posted a recipe about lemonade, Rachel oh Ray. I was like, this is the classiest thing It was I've sad ever because for Rachel Roy, because her kids were being attacked on social media. Oh, wow. But, you know, Rachel it is Roy's something called blocker page for Rachel Roy. That's true. But... Rachel Roy, it's interesting. She's the ex-wife of Jay's um, old business, business partner, right. David mm. Dash. But you know, back to if it really was her expressing herself, herself and there was infidelity. 
they were always close. Mm -hmm. It could be that Jay-Z maybe did have some something going on with him, because it's alleged that he had a lot of different flings, you know, but she I kept it on the raps. I heard it was Rita Ora. Rita Ora, People Aura, were attacking yeah. her. I don't, she's irrelevant, I'm sorry. I never, I never would I think never, that she had good hair. Her hair looks fake, so, like, I was just like, nah, I'm sorry. I don't sorry. care, but we can have... Hey, hey, what's good hair? <laughs> Anyway, also in pop culture, Views from the Six just came out on 429, and it is amazing. I just listened to it yesterday. I, I really, I was in my feelings. Fam, what was it? The first song is um, Keep Family Close. And, oh my God. Like, I, I went through a lot of emotions. I was just like, wow, I'm I ready. I'm ready for the pain right now. I'm ready for Champagne Poppy to hurt me. Like, he hurt me in Take Care. <laughs> and he did. He did. And it was so great. Everybody was like, oh, there's not enough rapping. There's not enough this. Because I feel like everybody was expecting another What a Time to Be Alive. And I'm so glad that he didn't do another What, Ta uh, what a Time to Be Alive. Because, like, Future's already an artist. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. he already did a collaboration with Future. That's unnecessary. I'm glad that he went back to this sort of, like, saddest boy in Toronto thing because like that's the type of Drake that everybody needs but nobody says they need you that's know what true. I mean and he still had those banging tracks he has hype he has feel no ways and I'm just like yo I'm turnt but I'm a little sad right now that's what it is like that's always what Drake is supposed to be and ugh. It's I need to hear. I didn't I hear yet. To to it. I didn't hear. Send me that link. Ten out of ten. I, I would like. Today. My friend just asked me to go to the Future and Drake concert. It's coming out. The, um, they're going on tour. But I saw her, saw those tickets. I heard that they were also a thousand dollars. Maybe those were one of the high like, prices. Sorry, I mean, I don't know. Watch that on HBO or something. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe to come out. Get maybs, if it was like Bryson Tiller that just went True. platinum. Maybe Ooh. and Big Sean just went pa Tory platinum Lanes. as well. Tory Lane. Maybe it was a concert with all of them. Maybe yeah. I might invest in that. But I have other things to invest in right now. A Tory Lanez and ASAP Rocky show. Ooh, I love ASAP Rocky oh style. I love Rocky. He's so adorable. He looks like Ocho Cinco without the braids. Oh wow! I never even yeah. Wow. Cover up his oh. hair and you'll see ASAP Rocky's face. Oh my gosh! That's wild. ASAP <laughs> ASAP got nice teeth. That's all I gotta he say about this. He has great teeth. He has very nice style. Yes. Dress as well. Ugh. Mm -hmm. Fashion killer. Anyway. Anyways, um, we just also wanted to give a shout out to Mariah Carey. 11 years ago today, The Emancipation of Mimi came out. Mm -hmm. An R and B like it changed the game. fantasy that came to life i'm ugh, wow I mean, I we can't forget it. don't forget it's like mariah carey who's that because honestly i mean what's what happened who's that who is, what, do you, what mean? do you mean who's what that as I'm far a... as as far as someone who i like look up to fashion wise or just look wise it's just uh, like i mean I but you know she did have two kids she had, did have twins you uh -huh. know and I'm, I'm pretty sure she was stressed when she went through the divorce with nick cannon right. i mean so she did gain some too. weight but, I mean, her voice went She's out, so I kind of wasn't yeah. really paying, it, she wasn't uh, relevant, but I'm not going to take away what she's done. Yeah, she's exactly. Don't sold take away what hit she's records, done. everything. Yeah. I'm just talking about in a sense of her being, like, um, relevant now. Absolutely. Star. We're not talking about how she's relevant now. We're talking about 11 years ago when she came out with Emancipation of Back movies. it up, 11 yeah. years ago. Yeah. Love it. And I can't believe there was a 11 years ago. Yeah. Passed by so quick. Yeah, it I heard feel like when that. she goes shopping, that there's someone who follows behind her who refills her champagne glass. Wow. And I think I, I read that and I was like, that's where I want to be one day. I want to be that successful that I have a little mini entourage with champagne following me around. I would go shopping. Amazing. Wow. These chickens is ashy. I'm lotioned. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of um, Little Kim, let's talk about Little Kim for a little. Let's bit. talk about self love. Um, okay, we can talk about. I all. like major key. Okay. Can you please show show this picture? This 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 is Little Kim. What she looks like now. What before and after? I literally thought the picture on the left was a Becky. Okay, I was like, <laughs> who is this Becky? Why are you showing me this photo? Like, I don't know. Like, there's Lil Kim and Mariah. Yeah, I mean, like, I just, I'm so confused. Wow, like, she was gorgeous. Love the blue hair, so mm -hmm. funky. She was so, so cute. Cool. Yeah, like she was edgy, and now like I'm just confused. Like, mm. what's going on? Like, and you know what? I don't. I mean, I don't want to hear anyone say, oh, she, she's happy with herself now. I doubt it, because most people who get plastic surgery end up not even loving themselves and becoming more depressed and never right. being happy because body you're dysmorphia. the more it it basically she could have um a, a case a body of body dysmorphia. dysmorphia i mean you're never going to be happy with yourself, with, with yourself if you continue getting plastic surgery you're only going to botch yourself even more your skin is not that stretchy you know mm -hmm. Absolutely. I mean, it she, the point where it's oh too much. It's, I mean, listen, yeah. I'm a very big enthusiast of plastic surgery. I am. I think that, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I think that if you don't like something about Hot. yourself and you want to proactively change it, that's fine. But there's a healthy way about going about it, and then there's an unhealthy way about going about it. 
I don't feel too comfortable speaking on Kim's plastic surgery because it's like, you know, I don't know her thought process. I don't know how she really feels about herself. I think it's sad if she really didn't like herself enough that she had to change so much. Mm -hmm. But if that's what makes her happy, that's what makes her happy. She has the time, money, and resources to be doing that. Mm -hmm. But I personally don't think she needed any of that. I don't think she needed any of it either. I just feel like it's just sad because I thought that she was such a beautiful woman. And it's like, why are you trying to fit into this other thing? Like, why are you trying to put yourself in a different box completely Mm -hmm. when there was nothing wrong with like your your categorization she does something so, so let's switch this up because i don't want anyone to get it twisted this is queen b right here this is the original queen b oh, one of the best yeah. rappers absolutely what i'm saying is that because let's go back to what she might be thinking what i've heard is that she did have was was abused verbally from her re- past relationships and mm. you know her ex-boyfriend told her you know that she wasn't good enough and that she wasn't cute and she oh, and she had said in interviews that she didn't feel like she didn't like the way she looked yeah. so i can understand why she started getting the plastic surgery and it just gets you could become obsessed with plastic surgery yeah. i mean i was Very watching quickly. 10 most um worst plastic surgeries and she Ooh. was on the list and i was so upset because then they have the before and after and it's such a drastic change it's like wow you know, people also, another thing, do you see people comparing her, calling her Becky, to other girls, like be, um, w- women in the industry that have like blonde hair or that light skin? Just because you have blonde hair does not mean that you have a body dysmorphia. Cause let's uh-huh. get it, okay, or that does not mean you're trying to um, change to your eccentric um, views of beauty. Mm-hmm. That does not mean that. I sometimes think it's just a hairstyle. Sometimes, it's just a hairstyle. Yeah, it's That's not, not exaggerating. Yeah, like Nicki Minaj like wore all tons of wigs and stuff like that. A lot of the time she's wearing that blonde wig or she'll just wear like black hair or mm-hmm. whatever. And like, mm-hmm. I mean, like people would never be like, oh, she doesn't like like herself you know what i mean i feel like yeah. a lot of people started with that but she was just like nah like i got a lot of personalities in here like this is for this is for my brand like l- like chill out you know what i mean and you know that's another thing you know that's another thing kim i think it's also a makeup artist because i've seen you since you had this plastic surgery looking really good mm-hmm. and it was the makeup artist so mm-hmm. keep stick with that makeup artist like people let her know so i see the comments on social media like you look great mm-hmm. I think sometimes the makeup artists mess her up. Yeah, <laughs> you you gotta have you gotta have makeup by Mario. You know what I mean? You gotta have that stable one. That's makeup like, by Hush. I think she's really good too. Okay. Oh, by Hush, yeah. Well, I mean, Lil Kim definitely gotta look into that because like mm-hmm. I don't I don't know what's going Stick on. Stick with Tokyo oh. Styles. Oof. Amazing. Amazing. Wigologist. <laughs> Um, well, moving on to wellness, I actually really wanted to quickly talk about chia seeds because recently I was just like, hmm, let me try this because I actually saw it on your Snapchat. Mm-hmm. You were having like a yogurt bowl with chia seeds and I was like, oh, we wow, saw what we were talking about my this. parfait. Yeah. I, sh- I need to like move on to this yeah. like on my next like wellness. Like, like on my Snapchat, right? follow breakfast with essence every day. <laughs> I'll show you my breakfast, my healthy, nutritious breakfast. So. Yeah. And was it? I've been... I mean, I wrote an article about it. It's going to go up on Monday. But basically, I Sev, connected... Sevnetwork.com. Yes. Um, wherever wellness, Jasmine. Um, basically, I kind of just, like, for a whole day, I put it in every single food I could think of. Because, I mean, I don't know if that's healthy or recommended. Um, but I was just like, you know what? Let me just, like, do this thing. And, I mean, I put it in my water. I put it in, like, my yogurt. I put it in my oatmeal. I put it in, like, my salad. Because... It, they're tasteless you know what I mean so I was just like it won't hurt and mm-hmm. I feel like actually like it kept me really full throughout the day so I wasn't like snacking otherwise mm-hmm. which was awesome because I feel like I'm consistently snacking but my my problem now is I don't have like such a uh, insatiable need to eat and it makes me question what I should do with the rest of my time now I'm just confused because I feel like so much of my time was like oh I'm gonna eat this or I'll eat this while I watch well, this and now my time is so free and I'm confused use it for to read a book yeah you know Americans we more. do overeat yes. yes and we have I mean you see obesity has grown yeah over the years but we do eat more than we need to and it's like that whole food pyramid thing in the times and days you're supposed to be eating is not even accurate yeah, it's also those people you see pharmacists and doctors working with for food companies mm-hmm. to sell more they tell them this is you need to eat this amount tell your kids to eat this amount every day so that you could sell more if people are not eating who's going to be buying the food mm-hmm. right but okay. chia seeds just i put in my oatmeal mm-hmm. um mixed with hemp seeds also or mm-hmm. flax seeds you can also love put them, them in like smoothies and stuff like that i've yet Rafe to do omega-3 that. yeah smoothies mm-hmm. Yeah, love so. chia seeds. You can use it in your hair as well for hair gel. Really? Boil it in water, and that's why you see. Have you ever seen me put in your water? Mm-hmm. And it has it a texture. Jelly. It get, gives a little sweetness to me for some reason, mm-hmm. but it, it gets jelly. And that jelly, if you boil it out, it turns into hair gel. You could use it as a natural hair product. That is wild. I've never oh tried God. chia seeds. I think I need to now. You gotta, you gotta put you on, girl. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, I'm gonna let you guys know a little bit more about my fitness journey. So yes, we'll follow, follow up with that. Sevnetwork.com. Yes. Boom. <laughs>
Um, now we're gonna talk about relationships. Actually, <gasps> recently, me and Victoria went out, and it was hilarious. Why don't you? Why don't you? We need to have like a that? segment of just what we. Just I know, and just call out. it me and Victoria went out, like. <laughs> Cause that just. That's it. I'm oh, sorry. So we're not going to talk about it. Right we're not no. going to talk about it right now. We're, we're going out in a couple of weeks, so. We are. Stay tuned. I'll we'll let you know about that. <laughs> um. So here's the thing. We I picked Jasmine up after my shift. You know, we were getting ready to go out. We're gonna have a drink. It's gonna be a lit night. <laughs> and um, we pull up. I'm just redoing my lipstick and. I get a call from my ex-boyfriend. He's just like, I see you doing your makeup. And I'm like, how? Well, he's like, he's parked across from us. Yeah. And I was like, and I actually was going to the bar to meet up with some guy I was talking to, you know. So I told him, like, don't come to the bar. <laughs> don't go to this bar I'm going mm. to. And he's mm. just like, no. And I'm like, okay. okay. Get your feelings hurt. Get your feelings hurt. Mm. So we're This at, was your ex-boyfriend? Yes. Yeah. Come try and think about my support. advice. Okay. <laughs> you, you saw him. You met him. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah, so we go in, we're having a really good time, you know? I think we're having a nice time. We go outside for some fresh air, and he literally, he comes by and walks right in front of us. Oh, wow, I this dude. Oh, you were inside. Oh. He came in and walked right in front of me oh. and this guy. And so this guy's just like, uh, you know, he knows the gym. He's like, let's go to another bar. Mm-hmm. We go to another bar. I get a text from him saying, like, first, like saying, um, don't go to this other bar that we're mm-hmm. going to. I'm like, well, I'm already here. <laughs> so... Uh, I don't know how you guys feel, but personally, if that was me and I got broken up with after so many and I see them with somebody else, I wouldn't follow them. Yeah. To other is bars. this bar stories or relationship? Is it well, relationship still? It's both. It's okay, both. so relationship. Okay, my advice. I've gotten kind of some new ideas on relationships and how to deal with things that aren't serious unless you put this ring on my finger. Oh, that's right. Um, that's from right. my friends, and she's, she lives in the city. She's always going out meeting new people. So what she does, and she's in the industry, modeling industry, so she's always meeting people that need to be around that might be guys, and her boyfriend or ex-boyfriend may get jealous. Okay, get over it. Listen, <laughs> trust her. So this brought me back to my story when I had with my, fo- my first boyfriend. We were already broken up, but you know when they want to lie? and tell everybody in, or not admit to people oh, we're broken up. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I, was, I just started college. I see him at the mall with his friends. I'm with my friend. We walk up. He keeps talking to me. All his friends are around, right? Mm-hmm. And he's playing. They think we're together. So time is passing by, and I'm like, I got to go. And he's like, he wants to act like, you know how your boyfriend should know where you are or oh, may yeah. know where you are? So he's like, okay, where are you going? Trying to t- like clock me. Oh. And I'm like, um... I'm going to the movies, and he really played himself and tried it. Oh. Why would you put yourself in this situation to ask who are you going to the movies with? And I oh, said, no. I said it. I had to let them know. All his friends, I said, you don't know him. <laughs> oh. Oh. So your your boyfriend even trying it's to still come friend. around the, to the bar when you told him you warned him, you said not to, and I tried to warn him. I said, listen, I'm going to the movies. Be general. It could be a guy or girl. He put himself in that situation. Mm-hmm. I get mad at you. And I think it comes down to just respecting yourself. Absolutely. Loving yourself. And if you really love the other person, don't ruin their night. I would never trade you. We have, especially um, if you guys are breaking up and you are, you're worth, you're able to move on. Or if there's something else better than for you out there, they should want that for you. You know? Exactly. Actually, we do have a male member on today. Yes, we do. Oh, no. but we actually don't have any more time. <laughs> but you guys will see him again. <laughs> yes, because he has very ed- incredible things to say that we would love to hear. Very incredible. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes, we don't have enough time, but please catch us on sebnetwork.com. Um, check us out on Facebook and YouTube, and we will see you Fem then. Spot. Facebook, the Fem Spot. Yes, okay. <laughs> so we'll see you then. Bye. Bye, guys.